skunk works, a term used to describe that team in the factory that gets to do things a little creatively, a little hutke, a little masala marke. And if you haven't been living under a rock, you'd know that Tata had their own skunk works, JTP, and they produced some pretty hot cars. However, they didn't really hit the spot in the Indian market. Why is that? Well, today we're here with a Tata Tiago JTP in its stage one form, and we are here to find out what went wrong. When it comes to the looks, the Tiago JTP is definitely hot when it comes to a hot hatch. Yes, it is very pretty and it has gotten a lot of major aesthetic changes. In terms of aftermarket changes, let me tell you, it's got a 30mm drop with Cobra Springs, so the stance is a little better. And it also came with a 4mm drop from factory compared to the normal Tiago. In terms of aesthetics, it has got a lot of differences compared to the normal Tiago. So let's go through them. You get a different bumper with a sportier mesh grille and a JTP badge. A bonnet duct, and purists will be happy to know it's a real bonnet duct. It is used to dissipate the heat from the engine. 15-inch diamond cut alloy wheels with extra wider tires. And this one is even wider. The stock JTP comes with 185 section 60 profile tires. These are 195 section 55 profile tires. Wider and slimmer, better grip and better looks. Oh, and of course, more JTP badging. A sporty four diffuser, new bumper and twin pipe exhausts. Oh yeah, and of course, more JTP badging. You get a blacked out ORVM, a blacked out roof and this spoiler extension thingy. It's, I don't think it's really functional, but it looks nice and it adds a sporty look to it. But that's not what you care about. You want to know what makes this thing actually hot. And that's the engine. So let's talk about that. This is where things get spicy. You see, the normal Tiago came with 85 bhp from a three-cylinder engine that had 1.2 liters of displacement and it was naturally aspirated. So this one comes with a Nexon's engine, the 1.2 liter three-cylinder turbocharged engine and it is a little spicier than the Nexons with a revised intake and exhaust system. It produces 114 bhp and 150 newton meters of torque stock. This is a code 6 tuned car and it now produces around 130-135 bhp which sounds pretty impressive. So time to take it for a round and see what it's all like. Why did JTB fail? Tata says that since uh, it was COVID when they were um, wanting to discontinue it, they said that, oh, it's COVID time and nobody's going to be buying a fun sports car. So let's just stop the hot hatches or the hot JTP variants. But it, they didn't sell very well either. And that is because of badge value, sadly. A lot of people just didn't want to buy a hot hatch that was a Tata and they thought that it, it just not makes sense and people would just choose the Polos, the Hyundais for n number of reasons. <laughs> the interior is pretty nice, you've got different, different upholstering, uh, you've got wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a semi-digital cluster. In city mode, the car is rather sedate, pretty much anything you would expect. You don't get all of the power, in fact, it is limited to 150 newton meters of torque in city mode but when you press this button you will get a beep and your digital cluster will tell you that you are in sport mode and that's when things start getting pretty interesting press that sport button and the car comes alive yes you don't have many revs to play with 
and it does feel pretty unrefined but it does pick up pace in a very peppy manner and especially this tune has now kind of deleted a little bit of the inherent turbo lag that was noticeable in the stock JTP this is pretty enjoyable and uh, yeah considering the fact that it is on lowering springs but it still doesn't have any problem with ground clearance it is a fantastic little daily and it's not that it's just quick in a straight line chuck it into a corner and it is a very enjoyable car since it is so planted especially now with this 30 mm drop and the wider section tires it grips like a monster this peppy little car can be a little rare to find yes but if you do catch a hold of one you will be really enjoying yourself since it is such a direct car it's a breath of fresh air considering that most hatchbacks now are quite numb in terms of in terms of output or feedback so it is a very enjoyable car to drive however it is not perfect the engine does feel quite unrefined and uh, it does not have a, a very long set of legs it it huffs and puffs after maybe around 5000 rpm and the red line is not very far away it's 5900 rpm so the jtp like i said has some rough edges the gearbox is a little rubbery feeling and the clutch release is a little vague but boy oh boy on the move is it fun to roll through gears even in sports mode and with the tune the throttle pedal still seems to have a slight delay but that's something you can work around yes the turbo lag has been reduced by quite some margin according to the owner but still the sudden surge of acceleration at 3000 rpm is quite enjoyable and reminiscent of some of the older turbo monsters like the mark 1 vrs It also comes with a cool blow off valve from factory that makes all of the whooshes and swooshes that we enthusiasts like to hear. A cool easter egg that a hardcore Indian enthusiast might have noticed is the track outline of MMRT on the engine cover. Same way the Germans put the Nürburgring, JTP has put MMRT. Represent. Having spoken to Mr. Ayush Naik from Code 6 Pune, I got a lot of insight about the potential of this mighty 3 pot. The 1.2 liter turbo is a punchy little engine with lots of headroom capable of pushing out some healthy numbers however stage 2 is pretty much how far people have gone since there isn't much aftermarket support in terms of performance mods even stage 2 should require a custom intake and a custom downpipe since no aftermarket companies cater to tuning tatas Code 6 actually might be one of the very few tuners across the country developing maps for this small niche of enthusiasts and when it came to personal preference Both of us agreed on the fact that the Tiago JTP could very well be one of the most fun hatchbacks to be sold in the country, not just because of its power, but because of how engaging the car is at full chat. Even though Tata didn't really sell them, this is a great product and we haven't lost hope. We are hoping that the Altros racer comes out soon and that is going to be one cracker. of a car something that we at the drivers hub are looking really forward to and on that bombshell do let us know what are your thoughts on the JTP division should they make a comeback are you looking forward to the Altros racer do let us know down in the comments below i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye